So once your dog is doing the three weave pulls pretty good from the first part of this series, I move to four. And basically we're just teaching them to bend around the weave pulls at this stage. So I pull out my treats again and reward wherever necessary. So I usually reward a few times and then keep rewarding less and less until there's only the one time as they're exiting the four weave pulls. And I might even pull out the toy um, once the dog starts getting it a little bit better. So here, this is her first time doing the four weave pulls, so I slow it down by pulling out the cookies again and rewarding as many times as needed. And then I just do a little bit from all angles like we did in the when we were doing the three weaves. Um, and don't forget to do the right side. So here I will be working the right side. This is a new side again for this little dog. And I'll keep working until I'm, again, only rewarding once, um, possibly with a toy. I do try to switch my dogs to toys as soon as possible to get that excitement level that they'll have in the class and show situation. And I just kind of work around the clock like we did when we had the three weave pulls. And then once they have that, I start adding little sequences that we'll talk about here next. So once your dog could do the four weave pulls from all entries, you're going to add a jump like this diagram. When I add a jump, I back chain. So first I go from the angle of where the jump is coming from, but I just do the weaves. And then I'll wrap the jump and do the weaves, and then I'll go straight on and do the jump weaves. So first I start the jump at a little bit of an angle, and I just do the weave pulls. I do have some kind of toy or bigger motivator just to get them a little more excited. Then I'll wrap that jump to the weave pulls, and then I'll come straight from the jump weave pulls. Keeping it happy and excited, but getting that independent weave entry that I'm going to want. Then I'll move the jump to like a two o'clock, if that last one was one o'clock. And then this jump is like the three o'clock, and we'll show again what it looks like. So again, after I move the jump, I just do the weave pulls. Want the dog to be successful and happy. Then I'll wrap the jump and do the weaves. And then I will go straight on jump weaves for like a 90 degree angle. And then I'll keep continuing around the clock working all three things of just the weaves, then the wrap jump, and then the straight on. That's the four o'clock, five o'clock, 4.30, 5.30. <laughs> Um, but at an angle where they really are arcing around to find that weave entry. So once I get to the four weave pulls, you'll see here that I'm going to work all entries and angles and all types of maneuvers. I really do this at four weave pulls instead of waiting for a 12 weave pulls, mainly to reinforce right away and so that I'm not dealing with any mistakes of popping out weaves. Flo is just over a year here, so I haven't been doing this long, but you see her nice low style really driving through those weave pulls because I've kept it happy and fun the entire time. So once your dog could do the around the clock exercise, then you're going to add a tunnel and run through these eight maneuvers. Dog on the left, dog on the right, cross behind both sides, add more parallel distance, a recall, send, and pressure. This is what really gets that independent behavior. So my straight tunnel is just about 15, 16 feet straight on to the beginning of the weave pulls. And I am just doing four weave pulls through all these maneuvers. That way I could reward right away and deal with any mistakes. So that was dog on the right. Then I'm gonna do dog on the left. Then I'll do my two cross behinds, and at this point, my dog is pretty much pattern training. They know where they're headed, but I want them to see what it looks like when I cross behind them and then still have that low, happy style. I'm gonna add more parallel distance, like you would see in a gamble or a chances class. Then I'm gonna do a recall to really get that independence. So I leave my dog and recall them from the very end. And I'll also do a send, where I'll lead out to in between the tunnel and weaves. And I'll send my dog the four weave pulls. Notice the timely throw, so that my dog's head is always looking straight and low. 
And lastly is pressure, which I just kind of get in their face and really push them. So after your dog could do all eight maneuvers from straight on, you're going to angle the poles a bit in one direction and run through the eight maneuvers again. So I keep that first pole straight on from the tunnel and just rotate the poles so the entering angle gets tougher. Make sure you alternate moving the poles from one side to the other like you see I'm doing here. After each eight times you go the, to do the other side. Um, this whole process can take many weeks, even months. So now we'll take a look at what it looks like at this angle, which is about a 45 degree angle. Again, this is probably a good week, two, three weeks after I have started this whole process. And again, I did dog on the right, that was dog on the left. This is a cross behind, which that's a pretty easy cross behind, but this cross behind definitely starts getting trickier. A sharper cross behind. And I do a little more distance. And then the recall, send, and pressure. I believe this is where my dog really learns to love the weaves, has an awesome little dance, drives through independently. Um, basically, if they could do this to four weave poles, getting to six and 12 weave poles usually only takes me a day or two to do that. If your dog loves the four weave poles as much as my dogs do when I do this exercise um, for these couple of weeks or months, it has no problem going to the six and 12 weave poles. So now you keep moving your angles more and more. So if we were at 45 degrees, I keep, keep repeating the same eight maneuvers, moving the weave poles about six inches to a foot at a time, back and forth, and repeat the eight maneuvers. So again, this might take another week or two or three weeks until I get to at least 90 degrees. And you could go further, but we'll show here in the video 90 degrees, and that's typically what I go to. All right, then we just move through the eight maneuvers again. So dog on one side and then dog on the other side, which that outside curve is gonna be a little more difficult. And then you have a pretty easy rear cross followed by a pretty difficult rear cross where you're cutting in right behind them. Then you also have your distance, which at this point is pretty similar to your sends. So I kind of just do the same. Then you have your recalls, which I lead out to the end of the weave poles, and they have to find that entry again all by themselves. And here's kind of a send from the other direction. Again, just nice and independent weave performance. And then you have your pressure, which I would do on both sides, just nice and close in the face. So it's super easy to teach your dog to love the weave poles. It's my absolute favorite obstacle to teach and all my dogs have great form and just love the weaves don't get stressed about them at all and from this point it's very easy to go to six poles sometimes I just try it one day and almost always they do it and can even just try 12 weave poles and because they love the four so much they usually do 12 instantly with no problem good luck and have fun